guys just see how you move in that area. When I began work on this story, all I knew about chiropractors was this. And this. Yeah. All right, good. And of course, this. Here you go. <gasps> now come, come and get them. So you can just imagine my horror at the thought of infants and toddlers coming in for an adjustment. <laughs> this baby is just four months old. Dr. Beth Forgosh works in the trendy Soho neighborhood in Manhattan. She's an experienced hand with moms hold, hold, hold. and kids. Hold. Okay, kiddo, relax your leg down. She's quick to point out that kids are not her specialty, but she has a gentle touch, and the moms keep bringing him in. You're not bending them like a pretzel. Not bending them like a pretzel, not doing anything that's threatening them in any way. It's just a very nurturing application. About the only thing that doesn't look very nurturing is that metal tool there, kind of like a dentist syringe. This is a tool, it's called an activator. It was developed by a chiropractor. So a light tap in here. Every time we click that, it's creating a neurological reflex into the muscle systems and allowing for the bone to reorganize itself. Does it hurt? What do you think, Raven? Does it hurt? I don't think so. Raven is four and a half. Yeah. That's like one, two, three. Yeah. Her sister, Naya, two and a half. Their mom is nine months pregnant. The early stages of a child's life from birth to four or so is really formative for them uh, in many ways, uh, physically as well as uh, mentally. And how soon after you give birth will you come back in here? I mean, I would say if we could have Dr. Beth at the birth and have her adjust the baby right after, we would do that hands down. At times it seems almost mystical, this laying on of hands. Yeah, the toddler know. lies on her mother's belly. And Dr. Beth says she really can good. feel, yeah. through the tension in the mother's arm, where Naya needs an adjustment. It seemed very gentle. Yeah, yeah. Much gentler than I imagined a chiropractor's office yeah, to be like. Yeah, yeah, very, very gentle. Completely, completely safe. The other big question, does it help? Dr. Beth insists it can with all sorts of problems. Everything from colic to ear infections to constipation problems to um, even from the birth process I've seen cranial malpositions that can be released in order to balance out the shape of the head and the symmetry of the face. Some other chiropractors even say these types of adjustments have been known to help with teething, asthma, and bedwetting. Many medical doctors are skeptical. I have no doubt that chiropractors have found children have benefited. We just don't know yet the risks. You probably won't find a more open-minded physician than Dr. Lonnie Zeltzer. Her pediatric pain program at UCLA employs all sorts of alternative approaches. We have acupuncture and art therapy, music therapy, Iyengar yoga, meditation, hypnotherapy, biofeedback, craniosacral therapy. Um, so all the touchy-feely so we, California we, stuff. You're right. But no Except chiropractor. Not yet, not for children. She says there simply haven't been enough studies done to prove it's effective. What kind of impact could that have on an infant? Well, could paralyze the infant. Dr. Beth says she has never Thank injured you. a child. And she I clearly takes great care to do no harm. Another light tap here. The parents who bring their kids to her have no qualms, but they are aware of the skepticism. Well, my parents were in shock, of course, and they thought that it was like child abuse. So I think they thought it would be more harmful than beneficial. After the first visit, it was a completely different baby. Hmm. He, he was all relaxed, he was all calm, with a completely different look on his face. The face changed and he slept through the night. And Dr. Beth? She acknowledges chiropractic care is not for everyone. Nobody's forcing anybody into chiropractic care. It's just a, it's an available tool. But she encourages people, including the parents of young kids, to keep an open mind. I'm David Wright for Nightline in New York. <laughs>